Hello everyone. Um, it's been a long time. I think my last video was June of last year, 2020. So, um, and it was a swap video. Yeah, I've been, I've been really, really busy, but I just haven't done videos. Um, I've been sewing a lot and oh I just wanted to stop and say hi to Rosemary because I know she always watches my video who's my niece and is in Canada right now so yeah I miss you so I'm going to show you all the stuff that I've been doing in this last year or so <laughs> and there's lots of UFOs lots and lots of UFOs but um, UFOs usually tend to become UFOs because I have problems on continuing the job and I have to find solutions to the better way. So this is um, a quilt as you go log cabin. I had ordered these petite fabrics. Um, they were already two and a half inch strips from a store here in Italy. And then I started to learn how to um, echo quilt and this is just with my walking foot done because um, I'm not getting the hang of quilting um, and for those who you know don't um, my followers were usually you know in the mixed media group but I do have some mixed media projects I have a little bit of um, hauls my last couple of hauls that uh, that I want to show you as well too if the video becomes too long I just might cut it short and make two parts so so yeah these are the ones the batiks and I'll just show them to you really quickly so this is a square that's cut this is the way it should be and I have to figure this already has a backing on it some of them don't um, all, all of these do another project doesn't some so I'm trying all these different types of quilt as you go projects as well too on how to join them and everything so yeah and they're just beautiful beautiful fabrics and this fabric here it looks it looks stained in a lot of places like just black as well too I hope the lighting's good but um you can see it right there this is fabric that I dyed myself with coffee and tea and I just and then I put it in the oven to let it bake for a while and I kept on turning it and turning it and it just came out beautiful some of the pieces are really really pretty but I do like the natural like the way it just came out black that's okay um, turquoise yeah so this will be I'm really enjoying this quilt as you go because like I said I, I do have problems on um, quilting by machine so um, it's a really nice like even if there wasn't all of this it would still look like it was already quilted because everything's attached to the baiting and the three um, the three you know the bait the the front the baiting and the thing this is all constructed on top of here purple sorry if I'm off camera you guys and yeah the, and then the colors start repeating as well too but yeah I have all these beautiful batiks and I did it in this rainbow and I think this will be for eight squares by eight squares it's going to be a square and the reason why I'm doing it eight by eight is because I want to um, join these colors together there's four blocks of the turquoise and those will be put together and then the four of the orange the four of, and so on and so on so yeah take these away where can I put them I'll start piling them here there's so much stuff you guys now slow stitching oh what a passion what it's such a beautiful beautiful art now I've been watching um, Rachel from Roxy Creations I've been watching lots of videos you guys even though I'm not you know commenting and and I'm sorry I forget sometimes to press the like button but um I am watching and right now I'm really into this and and it's just it's just fabulous so I'm using a lot of my clothing tags anything that gets thrown out um, uh, at the end what we can't pass on to somebody else because the good clothes I do pass on to people that need them um, I just got rid of the last clothes the, the last teenager clothes of my youngest son you know beautiful little tops for the summer so I was really happy to give them to somebody that needed them but yeah so I, I take off all the tags and I've been adding them and oh my goodness this isn't finished by all means but it's just a beautiful art I'm I'm really really enjoying it it is very very relaxing and they're true it's true when they say it's a meditation 
art you know and it doesn't have to become perfect and that's what I really love about it because I am terrible at stitching and things like that this is the Sicilian Emeline I think I took this off one of the shirts of my kids and um, yeah I have that close up then I received um, no my son received um, something from a friend of his and to fill up the box he filled up the box with a whole bunch of this tweed fabric which was a piece of uh, couch covering you could see that it was a cover for a couch and I decided because I had all these little wool things already cut this is these are sweaters that are washed so that way they get felted and so I um, I wanted to use some up with these sweaters what I used to do for my um, Christmas fairs was these little Christmas trees and you know you would have to cut all different sizes and then they would be stacked on top of each other beautiful I remember coming home at night and having to make them over and over again like I was selling 10 15 a day and I was coming home at late at night getting them ready for the next morning and it was just something they were and I was doing them all different sizes fatter ones like cones or ones that were in a you know a little pot but yeah so I have lots of these left over and I decided that I wanted to use them up and this is going to be a journal cover so yeah I've done that and this I think I've shown in the past there might be something in here this is a fabric journal that I do want to turn into a slow stitching journal because I still can even if my pages are thick and I have baiting in between them I still can stitch and not hit the other side of the page so I have that flower and this was just made I put them in between two pieces of um, tool and um, it was just a whole bunch of scraps of um, of um, threads so I put that and even the green you know I, I kind of tried to get it a stem out of it and then added these leaves yeah so I'm going to slow stitch on top of these now this is another one beautiful um, fabrics oh dear what are they called <laughs> sorry fabrics I guess yeah Indian fabrics it's another Indian page I have this stamp and it's just such a beautiful stamp such a beautiful stamp I think I even have um, and I've been wanting to buy a frame for this I have an elephant done a mixed media panel done with this elephant that I would like to maybe put in my kids room because they have it kind of ethnic -y. Um, this was a tryout with um, normal foam you would cut the pieces and you were um, using them as stamps and you were forming this little cactus and it was so easy to do and so much fun as well too so it was my tryout and I hate throwing things away even if I'm you know not crazy about them or I don't know what to do with them so this was the perfect place for it these um, butterflies I've made with um, it would be something like a master board but this is all done of fabric with fibers and everything and golden threads and and that so here I could still continuously stitch around these butterflies I can make their bodies and the little antennas this one here was um, a blanket that I made and actually I just got this blanket in my hands and started quilting it so by machine I was trying it by machine and I think I ruined it <laughs> yeah I, I think I ruined it it was such a cute little blanket and I had four of these little teddy bears on this blanket and the, um, the paint colors were matching the fabric colors as well too and then I had I have a whole box of little yo-yos that I used to do and things like that perfect page to slow stitch on this one here I think um, Roz Ross sent me these we had a fabric um, exchange once upon a time oh look this is a log cabin in behind I didn't even notice that this square here and then um, the same thing that I used for the butterflies but I cut them in a flower shape and I cut a leaf and um, laces in behind I've been organizing all my laces so finally <laughs> got that out of the way this is another one here I started slow stitching but yeah you could see <laughs> but I'm having fun <laughs> I don't care I know my stitches are all crooked these are things that I've just put in here that I know I can use and in, in you know these type of things 
fabric tags. This came from a pair of jeans. This came from a bottle of um, champagne. And um, this was a little socket that you would get, you know, for a um, fill of candy for a baptism or something like that. Actually, I think these were mine. These ones I did for one of my kids. I can't remember which one. And it was attached to a little um, Bible when he had his communion. A miniature Bible. And then I put the candies in here and just wrapped it up. And I painted all the boxes too. They looked really cute. So yeah, and then I have all different types of fabric panels that I'm trying to get use out of as well too. These ones here. Here's another example of my slow stitching. <coughs> I have a sip of coffee. <clears throat> yeah, like these little fabric things. They're, they're so cute. This there's this is just the beginning of a page. And this one as well. I stenciled this once. And these were using the foam stencils by Plaid. I think. And I think we're at the beginning. So put this away now. So I hope everybody's doing fine here. Um, you know, I'm sure like uh, how I know the situation going on there. I'm, I'm sure you guys know what's going on here as well, too. By the end of this week, um, total lockdown will be done. And, you know, we can start. Um, well, my husband has been open as a store. So um, he, uh, he, he sells. We have a ceramic store, bathroom store, ceramics tiling and we also sell to plumbers so it's one of the essential stores that could stay open and yeah and they've been taking turns as well too so i don't know if i'm going to show this this is another thing that i just did with scraps of um wool that i had i couldn't stand seeing all these little tiny balls together i'm not i do not know how to crochet these are tryouts as well too but the tryout turned into a beautiful shawl. I had this flower that was made for me from a friend. I think I bought it. I bought it with a hat, and she, and she made this flower for me. She made the hat, and then she came up with this flower to put on the hat. And I had it here because it has this big beautiful pin, so that way I can just wrap it around my shoulder. It doesn't um, bother me when I have it on when I get really chilly, and I'm even in the kitchen. It's something that wraps around nice and tight with the bobby pin and I keep my shoulders warm. And I used up all my wool. I know it's all crooked, but that's okay. I'm fine with it. It's mine. I don't have to impress anyone. <laughs> I know that a friend of mine started looking at this and she started laughing. And she's really good at it. But that's okay. Like I said, it's mine. So what am I going to show you? <coughs> Sorry, guys next okay big news you guys um who knows me knows that i became a grandmother um two years ago uh, from my oldest son and my second son is going about to have a baby as well too so i started thinking of baby blankets because we don't know the sex of it i am making the first one all all in ivories and this is what you call um for those who don't know, this is a half hexy, and it it's really cool because it looks like you know fish scales, or somebody called it something else the other day. And I've once in a while put in pieces of laces, you know. And this is going to be totally ivory. I'm going to attach these together. Let's see if you guys can get the gist of it. One going up two going down and there's going to be ivory in between these now i'm holding off on this because if we do find out soon enough what sex is it is i just might put you know um little roses here and there on the on the blanket if it's a boy i'm probably going to leave it just very simple and then once i know what it is there's going to be another little blanket coming along and then I'm going to start thinking about a crib blanket as well, too. By then, you know what it is, and and it's easy to do, you know. And then what else I've been up to is, well, these are actually things that um, I want to do. So I've always been in love with the barn house quilt. 
and I've always wanted to do it in blue and white. So I'm collecting a bit of fabrics, you know, blue and white fabric. Um, well, blue. i got to put that away for the baby. Who knows? And, um, yeah, this was a really nice surprise, too. I found another company in Italy that sells fabrics. And when I ordered from them, they sent me three fat, fat quarters free as a gift. And I was so happy. And I love the quality. I showed my daughter-in-law um, this, um, this fabric. And this also comes with, let me see if it's here. Oh, geez, I forgot about all those fabrics that I got. There we go. These are the three that they sent me. Now, I've looked on their their thing again and they have all different other coordinated fabrics so I'm thinking um, when um, when we know what it is I'm going to go back to that company and order the other ones yeah I can probably get away with even ordering another three fat quarters to do a little blank baby blanket so that's great too then yeah the blues um these i ordered the other day but you know what I'm really not crazy about the quality of these fabrics and I kind of knew the quality because I had ordered from them before. This uh, this company has beautiful fabrics, but they also has this line here. And it's not, I guess um, the cotton is, there's a weight to the cotton. And I think this is, you know, one of probably the lowest weights it feels like. And I wash them all and I'm going to wash these. But these are also for, maybe not the teals. But the blues, um, they will also be for um, for this barn quilt that I want to do. So that's going to be that. I have some white fabric here. This is another blanket that I started. And if it's a girl, this will probably be one of her blankets that I want to make for a single bed. Because I've made one for my grandson for the single bed. And I'm going to make one for her as well too. So these are all bright batiks. Look at how beautiful they are. You know, I might maybe, sorry you guys, it's probably even bothering you. So we got these beautiful colors of batiks and I'm going to put ivory in the middle. These, this is gonna end up being a single bed blanket. So yeah, and this is always the half hexes. Using a ruler, I cut all the half. It's so easy and quick. This is another thing that I started, which will be, put a piece of ivory on the ground there. Now these are the fabrics that I had left over from that other blanket that I showed you. And I had quite a few fabrics left over, so I made um, these beautiful butterflies that they're gonna be attached. They're gonna be attached to rows of fabric, um, the whole, length of the the quilt and then I'm going to do a patchwork scheme in between using these because I still have much more of these fabrics left over so I can you know do little nine patch things and make it look really cute at the end so yeah that's another blanket I told you guys I've been busy I know they're all different things that have to be finished and I will but you know we've had um a lot of things going on too but not bad things you guys no not bad things actually the news of an um uh, a newcomer in the family is just you know the best there is so busy looking for a home for them um and hopefully that will be resolved in in a, in a month or so so what am I going to show you now? I want to finish the fabric stuff, you guys. So that way I can get right into the mixed media. So this is another thing that I've been doing as well, too. Crocheting um, all different types of flowers. And I'm going to need a friend of mine here to help me out to put them all together. And they're going to be put all together with... This is beautiful. It's cotton, you guys. It's not wool. Um, this gray is going to be all in between each color. So I've mixed up all the colors. And actually this year I haven't touched this. I haven't touched this since last year. But I have so many made. But yet I still have to do a lot more. So yeah. Got a view of my box. I made this box in wallpaper. And just added all the different types of things. Because I have this in my room on top of a piece of furniture. And at least it looks nice. I know that when I want to crochet it's there okay this is another one 
that I started a long time ago. I started, I had all these flowers made and I'm finally getting it done. And as you can see, let me see if I can find a better one. Hmm. Oh, this one shows up really good. Okay, so these flowers I'm all attaching with, um, with my sewing machine using all the different embroidery stitches. And I'm using also um, variegated threads from our Arafil, which are beautiful threads to work with, um, with the machine and also by hand as well too. So these ones, I have all these different pastel colors. Now, I was thinking of making a blanket. You see, these ones here don't have the bottom piece because I wanted to attach them and then put a full backing on it and then just quilt around the, the squares. Um, I could continue quilting here if I want to. I want to try. So this is why this is on hold as well too. So yeah, I have, they're all beautiful pastels. But then again, I was thinking as well, as because I got to do 12 of them for a blanket, I was thinking of maybe table runners. I can make, um, with 12 of them, I can probably make four. Four table runners, have three of these flowers in a row. Wouldn't those look pretty? because I do have a lot of blankets made that still have to be put together. As much as I would love to have a little blanket like this done, and you know, maybe I just might do it for a single bed. I don't know. We'll see. It's on hold, this, for that reason. Okay, this is my personal blanket. Now, these ones here, this is a method called quilt as you go. I don't have this die right here I was looking for it this morning and by golly I couldn't find it I could not find it so I'll show you the other one this is the one I used for the half hexy and it works I'll show you right away so it works that you would put this first quilting ruler on here and cut or mark and cut with the scissors or cut with the rotary cutter, right? Then you would get a second fabric that you like together and you would cut a piece with the smaller piece. I put the tape here so I could see it better because sometimes like they just disappear in front of me. And then you would cut a piece of baiting this size as well too. And so what you're doing after is once you have your fabric, you would turn the edges and close it off. Now in this you can do or by hand or as you could see I closed mine off all by machine but I did sew them all by hand together. So this is a nice single um, a nice big plaid I would say and I got to use lots of scraps that I had beautiful fabrics that I've done blankets with and yeah, I got rid of lots of scraps, you guys, this way. Mind you, I'm doing lots of crumb quilting as well, too, so I'm getting rid of all the smaller ones. For Christmas, I did lots of things to get rid of all those little string fabrics. I made little needle books out of them. Okay, so that was that. And the other one, still recording, right? Hopefully, <laughs> I'll get really upset if I'm not. Okay, so these are one of my needle books that I made for myself. This was done with crazy quilting. And, um, oh, I bought the wax for when you're sewing by hand. So um, I've really gotten into the, the sewing they're doing by hand. Let me get the ivory again. The sewing they're doing by hand. <clears throat> English paper piecing, I'm sorry. And I've decided that I want to do them with my sari fabrics look at that now what i'm thinking is um i don't have one here with me but i could use this as an example so what i was thinking i would probably just make a cushion out of this but i could attach one of these so make believe that this is the only little thing i can attach it to there it would all be sewn by hand, or I could maybe do it by machine with a very tiny running stitch around it. And then I would attach these hexes together. Because I have the Sizzix that cuts these really fast, so 
I could do that and make a little cushion, a little um, boho cushion. So that will be a project in the future. And I'm probably going to do about, I don't know, because I don't want to make just one cushion, right? I want to make at least two. So that way, if I have them on my couch, I could, you know, um, have one on, on each side. So... Yeah, there's some colors that I wanted to try out, but then maybe at the end. But like I said, right now I'm having, and these are all beautiful fabrics from, as well, from clothing uh, that I've uh, received. This is um, a dress. This was a suit. This was a suit as well, too. This one, Nina Rabina sent me these fabrics as well. And they're, they're very tedious, I know. Because of the fabric, it's not cotton. Um, they can be very tedious. And... What else did I have in here? These are the forms that I'm using. Um, it's an Italian brand, but yeah. And I got a whole bunch of little um, sizes as well to this. I'm trying out because I would like to do something like this if it's a girl with the fabrics I just showed you. Um, maybe do three of these and then have stems coming down for a little baby blanket. We'll see. That's another thing that, that will be getting done as well too. And then in here, put that away, and this, and this. Oh boy. Okay, let me look around. Last things, I think, of sewing. So this is another one that I've made as um, a little sewing kit. So I have, um, you know, pages, and like I said, I've had panels, you know, of fabric that have sewing notions on them and things like that. So they came out really cute. And it comes in really handy, this, because, you know, I just sit it by me. I know I have everything in here. I use it as a pin cushion as well, too. So that comes in handy. These are the ones that I make for Christmas. Always, you know, those panel fabrics that I have. And because I, I was left with a few, because I made a whole bunch of them for Christmas gifts. And the pins, the buttons. And these, you know, I have them on hand. I think I have four of them. And they'll be future. There's even the threader here. Um, a little bit of cotton on a, on a popsicle stick. Yeah, I have about... So these will be great for a last-minute gift idea that I could give someone. Then I made this for myself. It's um, it's for my sewing machine. And it's so handy. Boy, I love this fabric. I love it, love it, love it. And then I made this as well, too. These are other ideas I made for Christmas gifts. I made bracelets and uh, pin cushions. And this one instead is for clips when I'm using my clips and and I use my clips a lot when I'm doing those blankets the quilt as you go ones because you keep them together and they're just really really great to have and I did that with a little um a little top of a jar and then I put some baiting in the middle and then I I cut the flower with the Sizzix yeah really easy easy peasy I made one of these for my sister as well too because she's um she sews as well. Okay, so put that away. Getting there, you guys. I wish I I wish I could see. Let me see if I put on my other glasses. If I could see how long this video is, because I can't see anything. So and I can't see it. 29 minutes, I think. Not sure. I'll get on with it. So lately I have, I found a surprise. Yeah, that, I found money in my PayPal account that I didn't know about. So because it was PayPal, I ordered from Missouri Star Quilt Company. So I ordered these fabrics, these really pretty bright fabrics. These are from um, Maureen McCormick, I think. She's from um, Marsha from the Brady Bunch. And she's... Um, she loves quilting and she's designed her own fabric. So that's really, I really love this one. That's that's going to make a really cute um, table runner. Yeah, because I just got one of them. 
Then um, I got this big, huge orange peel ruler. I want to make a nice big orange peel. Um, well, it would be like, it would be a flower. At the end, you know, you would put these orange peels on four corners and it would form a flower. So this is another one. I do regret getting this one so big. I should have gotten the one that fits on these. Yeah, so, but you know what? I can always make it myself to a smaller. You can make your own templates. Then I got four whites, uh, five inch. I got one 10 inch white. These are just solitary. If you look at tent, you could see that there's dragonflies in this fabric. And these ones are the same too. I, w without knowing it, they're dragonflies. But you know what? Oh no, these are all mixed. They're gorgeous. I didn't know that. <laughs> like, look at it better when it gets in here. Let me see this one here. Yeah, the same too. So these are going to look beautiful. This one instead, this is from Robert Hoffman. Kaufman, I think. I can't remember. But these are just beautiful, like watercolor. Let me see. Here. Like watercolor images. So um, just gorgeous. Look at them. So this will be a beautiful little blanket as well too. My plans on this is making a disappearing nine patch. And I'm going to cut these into four because I'm going to need about four packs of five inch. So I'm going to be cutting these. And, um, and I have already these to use that are already cut. So this will be perfect to do the disappearing nine patch. And it'll probably, I could probably get away with maybe... If I find something similar to do a nice big border around, and I'm thinking even a beautiful um, batik that's a very light blue for a nice big border, um, I could probably make it for a big bed too. But wouldn't this look beautiful in summer and springtime? Gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. Okay, I think we're done with the fabrics. Sorry, you guys, that I took so long, if anybody's around still. So everybody that has followed me in the past knew that I had a bit of difficulty with finding embossing powder here. I finally found it on Amazon, but it actually wasn't didn't come from Italy. It came from England, and it cost me a nice bit of money to get it here. But hey-ho, what are you going to do? And this order, what it went wrong the first time we did it on Amazon. We're sitting there waiting two months later. But why is my packs coming in? Because there was this and there was this. I'm finally so happy to have fabric paint. So that way I could even, I want to even dye this because I want to try felting. I'm waiting for, I ordered the sponge, the brush, and the felting needle tool from Clover. So I, I'm intending to try this mixed media um, fabric backgrounds as well too. And I saw a lady dyeing um, this. This is um, baiting and um, or wadding. <laughs> I'm hearing all different types of terms lady, lately. But yeah, it's wadding and, um, and you can dye it. So I'm thinking of um, putting these with water and kind of making them more liquidy so that way I can dip the fabric directly in I'll probably use big jars and Then I got oh there goes my glasses and then I got these beautiful um, beautiful would you call them Mandela stencils or are they doily stencils well I don't know but yeah and they're all different I think there's 16 of them but really, really pretty. Uh, I haven't even used these yet. I don't think I have. But the idea with this is, so I have this island that I made from my old kitchen cupboards. And the backing of it, you know, the island, the backing of it is um, it's just painted the color of the whole island. So I was thinking of trying to do all different of these on the backing of it and make it look really stressed out. We'll see. This, that was my idea with the... Um, with the island and why I bought all these things and I bought them for stenciling on fabric as well because these will make beautiful little um, pieces to use in slow stitching or or whatever or whatever um, okay big piece here you guys <laughs> there so I can't show it to you all at once but this was one of my creations as well so the fish underneath is basically just um 
is basically just uh, newspaper crumpled up really really tight and I think I put some foil in after that and the scales are made with um, tin cans and what I did was I used the Finnabar um, set that has you know those modeling paste that were copper gold orange and um, so yeah I did those and then for the feathers and the fin I used feathers now the head <laughs> The head is something that I have to work on if anybody has any ideas. Yeah, so I put it on this and I'm not happy about this either. So I'm thinking of taking the um, canvas off of this. And I have this beautiful big rectangular frame. So I'm thinking of maybe framing it. Tell me what you guys think. You'd have to see it on the wall too to understand what I'm talking about. I don't know. I just see this fish better, better better seen in an inset frame and not coming out if you know what i'm saying okay you guys this is where i had loads of fun time ago and then i stopped doing them so i oh dear i'm saving these and i have enough to cover maybe a 12 by 12 inch space but I'm saving them because I do want to find um, an old barrel cut the top off and leave the, um, the steel around it put all these in there glue them in and then pour resin on top of them so I'm saving all these that you know we've had during the holidays and birthdays and my kids even know whoever knows me and they're around and they're maybe opening up a bottle of champagne or something everybody grabs them for me they know that I like them and I want to do this table so I've been doing these um, I have a die that's called a spools or label die because you can also use this form as a label but I find them so useful as spools so Obviously, I've made like hundreds, and it's all recycled cardboard and wallpaper. So, um, I have been thinking of opening up an Etsy shop for the reason being that I want to de-stash all my stuff. I don't know if it's something that I will continue doing when I'm done. I don't know. We don't know. But this was, um, this is a great idea as well too. If somebody like spends a, a certain amount, they can all be, also be gifted. But I will have them for sale as well too. But it's still an ongoing thing, you guys, because lately the postage here has become absurd. So now, as you know, I love doing beads and this is why I miss this product so much, this um, ultra thick embossing powder to do beads and these are all um, you know uh, paper that I colored I just love doing them they're just so beautiful and, and like what I love about them is the, the the end product especially with this I have used varnish I have used normal embossing powder I have used um, nail polish for me the best effect that you get out of a bead is with the embossing powder just beautiful it takes a bit of time you know you have to do you can't do more than two coats you guys if you are willing to try this and you have to have them on like uh, a stick a bamboo stick and when you dip them into the embossing powder, you have to continuously turn the stick while you have the um, the heating gun on top of it. When you're ready, when it's still hot, you dip it in again and you continuously turn it. But if you sit there and, and see some kind of spot that you didn't like, that didn't cover up well, Go over it again with the gun before you before you add more embossing powder. Because I've noticed if I try to add three layers, it starts dripping all over the place. It's just too much. So I stick with two layers. Okay, what else was there that I had to show you? I know there was more. Oh, this baby blanket that I've made as well too. 
this is a baby blanket that I've made for my niece and she's had the baby and she lives up north so it's been um uh her her sister just came down so uh, when she leaves she'll bring it with her and it's a blanket for the crib she still doesn't have the baby in the crib so she wasn't worried about having it right away her husband wanted the cushion all done with blues even though they knew it was a girl the sheets i put in the blue and this because then at the end I had difficulty on having enough of this to do the whole strip. So I decided to put the little houses, which she really, really liked. So, And this is the blanket. I'm not even going to take it out of the thing. It's just a normal um, patch blanket. Really simple and, yeah, has a nice effect on it. And the fabrics, yeah, we went with her and she picked out the fabrics. So that way, you know, I was sure that she was going to like the the blanket. And what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't think there's anything else, you guys. I think I'm done. Wow. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry this video was so long. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stuck around to watch until the end. Um, I am coming up to 2,000 subscribers. I don't want to publicize it because really, you guys, if if we, um, I, I like giveaways to the people that have always been following me. I don't like when um, they come along and subscribe to you only because they want to be part of the giveaway. It's not nice, you know. I don't find it very nice. And I never do it either. If I see some kind of giveaway on somebody prom promoting, I feel bad. I might If I like the channel, I'll, I'll subscribe. But if I'm not going to subscribe just because I want to take part of, you know, um, a giveaway. But anyways, yeah, that's my thoughts. I hope you guys have, be, be very, very safe and have a great day. And until the next time, bye-bye.